Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Joy Bettenhaus, and we had another beautiful day across eastern Iowa with temperatures in the 60s. This is how our Sunday started, though. A look outside over Stanley. Thank you, Danny, for sending this in. Just a few clouds out there, but giving a beautiful red and orange sunrise across eastern Iowa. And then we reached the 60s across all of eastern Iowa, topped out at 65 in Dubuque, 68 in Waterloo, 66 in Cedar Rapids and Decorah, only 61 in Alcatraz. Either way, it was a beautiful day. Threat tracker showing well, clouds will actually clear out through our overnights. So we'll be left with a mostly clear sky. However, tomorrow a cold front will pass through. It's going to give us a little bit of cloud cover. As temperatures heat up to the 60s one last time. And then by Tuesday, we do have a chance for a couple of isolated showers. It was a breezy day. We saw gusts around 30 miles per hour, but winds are starting to come down now. We've got that southerly direction with winds around 10 to 15 miles per hour. And just a few gusts remaining around 15 to 20 miles per hour, though you can see area wide. We're not really seeing that. Gusts likely around 25 miles per hour possible for the first half of our evening, but notice wind speeds die down to around 5 to 10 miles per hour throughout our overnight and start of tomorrow. Tonight we're dropping down to the 40s, so a little bit warmer tonight with a mostly clear sky. Tomorrow, 60s. One last time, get out and enjoy it if you haven't. Mid 60s for highs under a partly cloudy sky. We have rain in the forecast for midweek. Let's track that right now. Future track Wednesday midnight. Here's our low pressure system that will continue to track northeast, bringing rain to eastern Iowa Wednesday evening. So if you live in our far western or southern counties, you're likely going to encounter a little bit of rain on your way home from work. As that low pressure system continues to track northeast Wednesday night, Thursday, widespread rain is expected. This could be heavy at times too, so you might have to deal with this on your way to work or school Thursday morning. Get a little bit of a break what, Thursday afternoon through the evening hours, but moisture will wrap around this low pressure system. And watch this. We could have a little bit of a wintry mix Friday morning through about the mid-afternoon or so. It's looking more like wet flakes mixed in with rain than a true wintry mix, so we're not expecting any accumulations or impacts to your roadways. That should clear out late Friday evening, and we should be dry by Saturday. City-by-city city forecast shows Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. 60s tomorrow, 50s by Tuesday. We stay in the 50s through Wednesday with that widespread rain occurring Wednesday night through Thursday morning. A little bit of a wintry mix Thursday night through Friday morning as temperatures do fall. And then next weekend, it's looking a lot cooler than this weekend here, but highs only in the upper 30s to low 40s.